Hello, everyone, and welcome to Richmond Motor Speedway for the Federated Auto Parts 400. Tonight, we make our final stop at Richmond and our last stop before the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series playoffs start next week in Chicago. Many of tonight's drivers have already punched their ticket to the playoffs, but there's a few who need a good performance tonight to make it in. So strap yourselves in. The NASCAR regular season finale is coming up next. What is up, everybody? Andy Soundhead back again with another episode of NASCAR Heat 2 Career. And today we are here at Richmond for the regular season finale, the final race before the playoffs begin. So hoping for a strong race today at really what's not really one of our greatest tracks. We seem to struggle at Richmond, but today the uh, the great equalizer that is the setup is what we're using. Obviously, we qualified first once again. So we're going to try and use that to our advantage. This setup makes it just so much easier to get through those corners and uh, loosens the car up a bunch because the, uh, the regular default setup is just way too tight. So uh, let's get to it here. And after the most boring stage one of my entire life, we will get 10 points out of it and a stage win, as always. All righty. Getting ready for stage two. And we're underway. Matt Kenseth on our outside. Logano behind us. And we're just going to sail it in deep and have no trouble just taking the lead. A commanding lead as well. So probably going to have a pretty solid day here at Richmond. Hopefully we'll get the win if we can uh, keep it on the track. Hopefully. The and the caution is out here. Well, that goes stage two. So pitted to get some fuel. I think we're still a little bit short, but uh, you know, should be able to save a little bit before you know, make it to the end, stretch it. But starting at the back, obviously, so we've got some work to do. Not too worrying. The set of gods uh, are on our side today, so I'm just going to set it in deep and low. That's too low. No. Oh, no. And I've got damage. Great. Well, at least caution's out. All right, so that was unlucky, but it was also lucky because we were able to fix our damage and we can also make it to the end of the race. Everybody else has yet to pit, so we're good to the end. Everybody else, however, is not, so we're in decent shape if we can not clip that apron because, boy, that is dangerous. And it's going to be just about getting through these guys now. Ooh, tight. Look at them four wide up here. Kyle Busch is running in the back. Running into the back of me. Can't even talk. I am fairly tired today, though, so please excuse me if I don't make any sense. My speech is terrible to begin with, so it is what it is. Already up into the top 20. Ooh, Gase is going to chop down there, so we'll hit the outside lane up here. The nice thing about this setup is it really doesn't matter which lane you use. You can uh, pretty much run wherever you want. I mean, you can even run way up high here if you want to. Won't be all that effective, but it still gains you spots. And I'm going to hit the wall, so never mind. And almost got taken out there by Castle. Almost took out Michael McDowell. What a sequence. So we'll clear them up into 13th already. We'll get to the inside of Stenhouse and get to the outside of Menard. Trevor Baines up here in 10th. Ooh, contact with Paul Menard. Sorry, Menard. Junior up here in ninth, having a, having a pretty good run compared to where he was usually running in his final season. So uh, I wonder if he'll make the chase. I think he did. I think he won a race, so he'll probably be in the chase at least, or playoffs or whatever you want to call him. I guess so up in seventh, past Blaney without much incident. He didn't try to wreck us. Maybe we're getting friendlier with him. I don't know. I feel like we still run into him at least once a race outside of Larson here and these guys are riding pretty low they might be thinking about coming to the pits here and yeah they're definitely coming to the pits now so that'll pretty much gift us back the lead uh, but didn't really need it anyway because we cut through the field pretty easily so job well done once again now we just got to hang on to the end uh, with about 19 laps to go to the outside of Dylan maybe maybe just a little bit yeah, we'll get him. All right. 
Oh, and the caution comes out late in this race. All right, so a very late race caution here. McMurray on the outside. Casey Kane running into me already off the restart. And this is going to be two laps of overtime here at Richmond. Didn't pit. He's got enough fuel to make it to the end. Tires, eh, who really cares about the tires anyway? Get ahead. Get into the corner. And we are pretty much, you know, home free at this point, really. So another solid race at Richmond. I won't celebrate too early because I've been known to choke races away. I am a choke artist. But we will get through these final set of corners, hopefully without incident, and we will. And we'll come home to what I believe is our first win ever at Richmond. So I am very happy with that. Finishing off the regular season with a win. Now we've got the playoffs ahead of us, which I believe is 10 races. So 10 races left. That means there's four episodes left. So that should be good. Everybody's 16th back. Needs some help, basically. Uh, they're in trouble. Corey LaJoy, 33 laps down. The LaJoy boys had a tough day today. So uh, we'll take that. Take our paycheck as well. 262000 Plus 100000 as always. That brings us up to $18 million. I wish my actual bank account looked like that. My actual bank account probably has about $18 in it. So that's, uh, that's a real difference right there, if you ask me. 13 wins, 78 playoff points. Second overall, but first, obviously, in the playoff standings. Which will basically mean that we won the regular season. Um, which really isn't all that shocking. Yay, made the playoffs. <laughs> Jimmy Johnson's happy for us. He says, how does it feel to be a Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series playoff driver? It feels about the same as being a regular Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series driver. Not really all that different. So, that's the regular season done. The playoffs have begun. Round of 16 is next, so make sure to tune to that. As always, I'll put all the races of each round in one video. So, thank you, everybody, for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah.